Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. This one is just to show you some stuff that I've picked up. Um, I have had a very, very hectic week. So I wanted to make sure and do the video before I start putting away the stuff. Um, the first things is, their first things are from Dollar Tree and I had watched a video from Diane. She's D Valens and it's a number at the end on YouTube and she lives a little further north than I do in Florida and she was showing a whole mess of stuff that she had gotten from Dollar Tree and there were several different items that I wanted to see and I wanted to try to get but one every time that I went to my Dollar Tree my Dollar Tree doesn't have it of course you know why would it carry the stuff that I want it to carry so I wasn't able to find it in mine so over the weekend we were up in Fort Lauderdale so while I was up there I made it a point to stop in to the Dollar Tree to make sure that I checked to see I was able to find a lot of this stuff but I wasn't able to find the one thing that I really really wanted um, one of the things that I wanted was called a cable keeper and it's to put in all the cables and then I guess like it I wanted it for my nightstand the nightstands I wanted to plug in like my iPhone my iPad the lamp and everything else that we plug in at night and then that way it'll keep it in the back so that way it doesn't have like that whole mess of cords all over the top of my nightstand which I can't stand um, but no I couldn't find that anywhere at even at that Fort Lauderdale one um, so I got the other stuff that I could find so anyway I'm sure that most of you guys already know about this kind of stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and show it anyway just in case um, a lot of people have been getting stickers for their planners and every time that I go to mine mine doesn't have the little tiny ones and this year my plan is to actually be faithful to the planner and actually writing down stuff and so on and so forth so um, I was able to find these cute little tiny owl ones so I bought these they were so adorable I love the colors and then I got these for my kids because Roman loves kittens and Enzo loves puppies so I bought them those and then my niece has a boy and a girl and she the little girl loves Sophia the first she, her birthday was just October 10th and it was a Sophia the first birthday party that's the centerpieces I did of Sophia and then her son loves te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so I bought those for them then I was able to buy this laser tape which is really cool it ha it's holographic and then it's, there's not very much on the roll, but it's like an actual tape dispenser and it has a little dispenser, but I thought those would be cool for the planner. And even like, you could like seal your packages if you're gonna send off Christmas gifts and stuff like that. I thought it would be cool, like really nice Christmassy colors. And then I was able to find these little pearl ones and they had them in navy blue, so I got two of those. Um, this is like a pink, a very soft pink, almost like a peachy pink to me. And then these are red, but they're like a dark red, not a super bright red. And then everybody always finds these foam squares all over their Dollar Tree. I've never, ever, ever, ever found them until now. So I went ahead and I made sure to pick these up. Um, these are the three that they have, and you can see that they've the packaging has been torn up, but the... the squares are perfectly fine so I picked those up and then the next one that I got was the holographic paper and I had seen this and I thought it was so cool but of course mine didn't have it so I got this and it's 20 sheets and I actually thought that these were like different colors that's why I ended up picking up three packages but it's perfectly fine I'm sure I'll be able to use it and then she also had gotten some glitter paper and they have it in red, silver, and gold. So I pick up two packages of those. And then they also have them in this beautiful blue. That's, I love that blue. And then green and purple. Green is my favorite color, but blue is as well. So I love that blue. So I picked up two packages of those. And then I also saw this, which I was surprised to see. I don't know, I've never seen this on anybody's haul, but I figured I would share. It's Polaroid photo, premium photo paper and like I have photo paper at home but every time that I print out my pictures it doesn't come out really pretty 
So I never end up using them. So I end up getting them at CVS or Walgreens or something. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out with this to see if the quality is any better. And then I found these Polaroid round adhesive labels. I thought that these were super cute to print out and they are two inches. And I thought they were super cute, 160 blank labels. It would be perfect for gifts now in Christmas time. So that's why I picked up those. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. I also picked up um, some th thousand grand candy bars, the little six pack ones, because I'm planning on giving um, like the teachers at my school um, a little thank you, like a little Christmas card. And as a thank you, um, putting a little th thousand, thousand grand candy bar on it to show them that they mean a thousand grand to me so anyway um let me put this stuff away so that was saturday saturday or sunday i can't remember my days are all running into each other because it's been just so crazy um when i was up in fort lauderdale then on monday my husband went in for surgery he had the gastric bypass done so thursday i went to work and then we went to his surgery his surgery wasn't until super mega late and um it was supposed to be like super early and they kept us waiting 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 until finally he got around to it he didn't even get into his room until 1 40 in the morning so monday night of course i stayed over at the hospital with him then on tuesday i spent the night with him as well at the hospital to make sure that he was okay lots of pain it's just a lot a lot of pain even though it's laparoscopic and everything but still a lot of pain then wednesday was also a late night because i had um the science fair night and since i was the one in charge of science fair i had to make sure to be there so that's the day that he got out of the hospital so i had to get people to bring him to me thank god like I was able to get somebody to get him from the hospital to me and then one of my friends from work was able to take him home with the boys while I stayed for science fair night. Then on Thursday and Thursday I had to stay late at work because Enzo had the chorus show and he had to go to his holiday chorus show which he had been practicing on Monday and Tuesday until 5.30, until mega late. So it just made every day of the week super, super late. So anyway, on Thursday, my husband had to spend the day all by himself at home. And then on Friday, um, we went to... I, I kept on seeing that it's really hard for him to get up from the bed because it's just so difficult coming out from a flat surface. So I had wanted to get him a recliner and he's been wanting a recliner forever and there was one at Big Lots forever ago that he wanted. I called the one closest to me. Of course they didn't have it. So I ended up having to go to another one. I called up my sister and we went all the way up there to go grab it. And luckily they had one in stock and the guy held it for me. So then on our way back I took advantage of the fact that I was out and went to Tuesday morning. So this is the stuff that I got a Tuesday morning. Like the whole big huge story over, you know, just to tell you guys I went to Tuesday morning. Anyway, so I got the cutting mat and I had gotten the bigger size of this before. And at the time they did have the smaller one and I didn't get it and I regretted it. So luckily this time I found it in my color because before like all the time I find it on pink. So the number is 1609353 and it was $8.99. So I have this one now to put on my little technology cart on the top. And then now they have Graphic 45 paper, but it's the good old sport collection. So I, I thought this was really weird. Normally the chipboards, um, the chipboard pieces that they have is in a six pack and you pay like $5.99 for them. But for whatever reason in my store, they were separate. 
So they were $1.49 each. And I'll give you the SKU number, though I don't know if that's going to be just for the single pack. And I've been looking all over the place to see if anybody has shown this on their hauls for Tuesday morning. And I haven't seen anybody do this. So I don't know if they have them in a six pack or if now they're just going to be taking them apart. I'm not sure. So anyway, the SKU number for this one is 1626438. And it's $1.49. So there was three of them. So I got the three. And then this also happened, you know how the sticker pack is normally in a six pack and it's normally for like $5.99 or something like that. And this time around, they didn't have it. They had five pieces and I thought, I figured that they had just, somebody had taken them apart and stolen one of them. But um, on the back, they put a SKU number on it and the SKU number is 1626436. And it was 99 cents for each one. And as you can see, like this one's messed up here. The other one was like totally messed up. Stickers were going all over the place. And you can see that some of them are like, it's a little bit crumpled, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Cause if you're gonna put it flat on a surface anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I was able to get those four. I picked up those four. And then I was able to get eight out of the 12 papers. And I figured out the pattern um, cause this is the third time I filmed this. So I figured out the pattern. So I am going to look up the SKU numbers to see what other Tuesday morning, um, has them and see if I can run up and get those four packs and then come back. And I'm even going to check in my nieces cause I even trained her on, okay, Dede, this is what you need to do when you go to Tuesday morning. I need you to look out for this kind of stuff. So that way she can try to find it where she lives. So anyway, this is the good old sport page and it is 1626419 and it was 4.99 for the 25 sheets and this one is really really nice and the back is like a sweater you probably can't see it on here but it's like it, an actual sweater if you took a close up of a sweater this is what it would look like very cute then this one is called game day and it is 1626420 and here's the front of it and there's the back and this one was open but none of the pages are missing because the opening is not as big enough for the pages to be taken out this one is called play ball and it's one six two six four two two and on the back is stripes then this one is called all star one six two six four two three and here is I love the colors like this is so beautiful it's so beautiful so there's that one then this one is victory one six two six four two six so it has a whole lot of stripes on it and in the back it has the postage stamps then this one is called um, cheer on one six two six four two seven and this is what the page looks like and that i love this paper like this right here is so beautiful it's like classic boy paper like classic boy pattern i love it beautiful beautiful and then this one is called number one fan and it's soccer balls one six two six four two eight and the back it has all the borders and the scorecards that you have really cute and then the last one is Teamwork 1626429. And then this is the front of it, which is very similar to a Sizzix embossing folder. And then this is the back, which is stripes, but it's like corded stripes. So it's really cute. So anyway, I, I, once I filmed this on the third time, I found the pattern. And the pattern is that they all go in order. The numbers all go in order, which makes total sense. So the first one, the signature page is, hold on a second, 1626419. So the next one is 20, and I'm missing 21, so I'm going to look for that skew no number. I have 22, I have 23, I'm missing 24 and 25. I have 26, 27, 28, 29, and the last one is 30. So those are the three SKU numbers that I'm missing, and I am going to go on the page to find those 
ones. And then I'm pretty sure that I saw somebody who did not grab the paper, but they grabbed the stamp set. So I'm guessing that they also have another page of these that are the tags and another one with the cut apart um, borders. So I'm gonna look to see if any of those um, are like 31, 32, 33, and so on and so forth to see if there's any of those. Since this is 38 and this is 36, there has to be some other numbers. So that's what I'm gonna try to look up to try to see if I can find the rest of this collection so I have it all. So anyway, um, wanted to make sure to show you guys this. I did make um, some stuff for Christmas for um, some of the people that I work with, my friends at work, and um, I'm going to show you it. It's a planner that a lot of people make, um, but I'm going to show you that later because I'm also going to make some stuff for my students and um, also for other teachers. So I wanted to make sure to share with you all of this stuff. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, give me a like, um, comments. I love, love, love comments. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye.